so you in this environment and you want to show people what really kindness is so the first thing that you need to do is to act as an example okay act as an example show people that there is kindness you know it's really hard going out there telling people you know be kind be kind to people without showing them yeah so first thing you're encouraged to do is lead as an example if you're seeing someone struggling try help them i mean these are things which are observable out there and the best way to tell people to be kind is by being kind by yourself. It starts with you. So act as an example to people and then people will follow your lead. Okay. Because you see, most of people believe in something that they see rather than something that you tell them or something that they hear. So for that reason, I'll always encourage you to act as an example. I mean, if you're a big person out there, let's say for example, you're a father in a house and the children they are saying such kind of things that are happening in our society. People are not kind. People are not helping each other. I mean, from relatives, you can see them back from home. Actually, a lot of studies say that it's easy to find kinder people who are strangers rather than your relatives. And to some extent, it's true. And if you're a grown-up and you're a person who is trying to change this, uh, this belief about kindness, so it's upon you to act as an example. For example, you're a father and you can help somebody maybe by paying them school fees. Maybe it's your niece that doesn't have the school fees. You know what to do. You can just um, pay for them. And you don't have to tell anybody. The person that you've helped will be accountable about what has happened. They tell you, you know, uncle so and so told me, uh, help me with this and yeah. I can do this. So those acts of kindness will teach your children that this is the way of doing things. So if you're in an environment where people are not kind, the first thing to do, as I told you, is to act as an example. Okay? Yes, that's the first point. So this is real quick. I know most of people think that being kind just involve giving out material things. No. Sometimes being kind also involves being empathetic, I can say that, because listening to someone shows how kind are you or how kind you can be to them. So for example, I have a friend who has a problem and they need, to, they need somebody to talk to, you know. So what you do is listen to them, be empathetic, put yourself on the same shoes Ask yourself, I have a problem and I would I really love somebody to hear me out. So I'll also give the same hears that that person gave me. So I would ask you to be empathetic. Listen to people, listen to their problems. You see today, most of people suffer with depression because they don't have somebody to talk to. And if you can always be there to talk to people, um, talk to them, understand them, put yourself on their shoes, okay? Give them solutions. Now, kindness begins with understanding and being empathetic. Once you put yourself on someone's shoes, once you put yourself on one's shoes, it's easier for you to understand the problem that a person faces. So, I would ask you, Listen to a person, listen to them, listen to what they have to say. Sometimes that's what kindness takes. It doesn't have to be material things, just your presence is enough. Just giving them your ear, giving them your time, that's kindness. And in this society where people are suffering with depression because they don't, want, they don't have somebody to talk to and they feel like they will be judged when they speak out their problems. So be there for people, talk to them, listen to them, and know that kindness doesn't only involve material things. Okay. Number three. Okay. Um, this is important. Uh, so what you want to do is you are in a society where people are not kind to people. And sometimes you realize that it's not their like for them to act in that way because you see that's why we say that we have toxic people around us yeah there are a lot of toxic people in today be it in our relationships that we face today and in all our activity it can be your workmate it can be your friend it can be somebody else out there one thing is important 
as a person who tries to practice kindness, always practice self-reflection, okay? Kindness comes in in this way. You see, when you practice self-reflection, you understand that the things that you should tell people and understand by yourself. If I tell this person this thing, um, it will feel bad, okay? So self-reflection will make you understand that, no, I don't have to tell them this thing because they will feel bad and you really understand how that will make them feel. So, I will advise you to understand um, that sometimes what you say to people hurt them. And so, practice self-reflection, okay? Be self-aware that some things may not be good or may not look good to other people when you tell them. So, I will really advise you to do this always practice self-reflection even just before telling somebody one thing you know it might happen that's why they, they tell us that when you are mad or in a point where you people are arguing it's always advisable to remain silent being silent sometimes it's kind because you know uh, we all know that we have something to say because even in a court um, people can defend themselves you know but if you decide to be silent it means that you're already winning the battle. But it's not the issue of winning the battle, okay? It's the issue of self-reflection. And kindness teaches you to self-reflect that if I tell this person this thing, he may hurt. And even realize this happens in relationships because you realize that when you people, or maybe with your partner, you are mad to each other, um, you realize that you tell each other things that you don't even mean, you know? and some things you later on come to regret and yeah it feels bad so to avoid such kind of things it always advisable it's imperative to remain silent it will serve you just remain silent and that's where kindness comes in because you have an option of talking to them back you have an option of hitting them back with what they're telling you it can be something toxic but you decide to be silent because you self-reflect and you feel like if you tell them this thing, they will feel bad, okay? So this is important. Um, we are in a society where we have a lot of toxic people. As I told you earlier, we claim that you know you're toxic. Um, you tell your other half or your friend or your workmate about that. But first, you need to know this. You need to know that there is something called self-kindness. If you be kind to yourself, being kind to yourself involves forgiving yourself the things that you did wrongly. Um, being kind to yourself, it also involves forgiving others. So if you forgive others, if you forgive yourself the mistakes that you made, you stop being hard on yourself, you understand me? So if you stop being hard on yourself, it's easier even for you to cope up with people. You see, a lot of people complain that others doesn't know how to treat them well. You know, the problem is, the problem is not them. The problem is the person because themselves, they haven't practiced self-kindness. If you be kindness, with you, if you practice self-kindness with yourself, you'll also be kind to other people. Self-kindness begins within. Of course, everything. They also say that charity begins at home. So same. Practice self-kindness within. And you'll realize that it will blossom even outside yourself. And it will also be manifesting in the people that you'll be interacting with. So you are advised to practice self-kindness. It's important. And lastly, guys, I really ask you again. Um, we are growing together. And if you want to stick around, still watch this video get notifications about me talking you about kindness um, self-improvement uh, daily please subscribe so that you may learn with me um, it goes a long way and I'm just new on YouTube and you know I'm just trying to do this so please support me by subscribing so that we may learn together and thank you for your time thank you for watching I appreciate you the four steps if you apply them you will be successful in interacting with people and a lot of opportunities will come your way because you know how to handle people. 
thank you be blessed and have a nice day wherever you are even if it's night have a good night wherever you are love you spread the joy spread kindness and let's be happy bye see ya